Hi, my name is Philippe Terrien. I'm a game designer on Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Today I'd like to talk to you guys about the whole new reward system we have in the game, including character customization and PEC. In Rainbow Six Vegas 2, the story will come to its action-packed conclusion. You'll get to play in the deeper and grittier parts of the city and experience the older parts of Vegas. You'll fight on the heavily guarded rooftops, dangerous back alleys, a seedy strip club, and an upscale residential area. You'll also explore the outskirts of Vegas, including a convention center, recreational center, and a section of the Nevada desert. In this game, we really wanted to overhaul the player experience. So what we did is we created a completely unique character creation system. Persistent elite creation in single player. We're expanding character evolution to a whole new level by including it in single player. We created a brand new PEC headquarters. It's easier to use and navigate. You can choose a male or female leader and customize the character in any way you want with the available gear and weapons. We added 11 new weapons and lots of new unique gear, and best of all, any asset you unlock can then be used in single player, multiplayer, and the co-op campaign. For Rainbow Six Vegas 2, we created a whole new reward system with one thing in mind. Every action, every objective, and every victory will earn you a reward. There are three types of rewards in this game. Experience points are achieved by performing different actions. These actions range from killing terrorists to even reaching a checkpoint. As you gain experience, you'll be able to see your progression on the whole new XP bar on the HUD. Once you achieve a certain amount of experience points and fill up your XP bar, you attain a new rank. With each rank you attain, you also unlock a new set of gear that visually enhances your character. The last type of reward is called ACES. ACES stands for Advanced Combat Enhancement Specialization. What we wanted to do is reward you every time you perform tactical actions. These tactical actions are based on three categories. Close Quarters, Assault, Marksmanship. In Close Quarters, you get points by performing actions such as close range kills and using your flashbangs and smoke grenades. In Assault, any actions such as getting multiple kills or single kills with your C4 or frag grenades will get you points. Lastly, marksmanship. You get points for actions such as long range kills and headshots. The more you build up your aces in each category, the more related weapons you unlock. For example, after each level of marksmanship you achieve, you unlock either a new sniper rifle or a new assault rifle. For the very first time, you're going to be able to level up your character and obtain new gear by playing single player, multiplayer, online and offline, including co-op. So for the very first time, you can actually play co-op and level up your character and obtain everything that was previously only available in multiplayer. That's all for today. We hope that you guys are as excited as we are about all these new features. So stay tuned for a lot more on Vegas 2 in the coming weeks.